How's it going everybody? In the last episode we went over player animation and today we're going to be actually creating a game loop. So we're going to be able to go through our level, complete the level, and we'll be able to go on to the next level. But before we start I want to do something pretty important. We are going to make a separate blend file for our character. This way we don't have to keep rebuilding our character from scratch. This will also keep our blend files a lot cleaner since we won't have to keep all of our assets in the same file all the time. I just added a few animations to the character. And if you want to learn how to do directional movement, I have a tutorial on directional movement from a little while ago. We're going to take our character and put our character in a separate blend file. And you'll want to make sure that all of your objects are in the player collection. You can test this out by right clicking on the player collection and clicking select objects. Then you'll be able to see whatever objects are attached to the player. What we're going to do now is make sure you remember the name of your blend file. Go to new, general. And you can save. I'm just going to not save because I didn't make any changes. And we'll have a brand new file. Let's just press A to select everything and delete everything. And we're going to go File, Append, select the blend file that you have your character in. Then we're going to go over to Collections. So double click on Collections. And inside this collection folder, we are just going to navigate to the player. So here's our player. We can click this, leave all the settings as default. It's totally fine. And then Append. Let's just set our character through the world origin, and there we go. I'm just going to delete these ladder assets. They came with the player because they have logic that is uh, attached to the player. You can delete this empty under here. You'll also see our UI came with us, so you won't have to keep rebuilding the UI for your other scenes. So now we can just add a plane to the floor, and when we press play, you can see that our character moves around. Now we do have to change something, and if we go to the player movement, we're just going to go to collision and right now it's just set to non-metallic object. This floor obviously doesn't have a material on it. So we're just going to deselect use material, leave it blank and it will use whatever is in the scene. So if we press play now, you can see that our character can now walk around. The frame rate on this file is set to 24 so I'll just set that to 60. And then we can add a light just to see what's going on a little bit better. You'll see that I have all my animations, all of my logic and my UI. This is great. So we can just append this character and the UI into any blend file we want. What I like to do is just delete everything, make sure nothing but the player is in here. So I'm just gonna go over to my, my level one blend file since I'll be using blend files to switch my levels. You'll see that I have this character from earlier from the last tutorial, but it doesn't really have all my stuff. So what I'm gonna do is select this player and select all the objects inside of it and just delete it. And I'm also just going to delete the UI from this collection. So I'll just go to HUD, select objects, delete. So now our blend file doesn't have anything in it. I'm going to go file. So just navigate to your player that you want to import and click player and append. We're just going to go over to collection and then select the player collection. So this will append all of our player objects. So you can see that our UI is back in the game and our player is also here. So there's a couple of things I just want to delete, like this ladder start and ladder end deal. I don't need that. So if we play the game, you can see that we can still climb our ladders. And we can pick up our coins. Now there are a couple of things we got to fix, like the player interaction with the door. Also another thing, since we did delete a bunch of stuff, a character with animations, you'll want to go to cleanup. We want to remove recursive unused local data blocks. And you can see purging 41 unused data blocks. So. Well, we're going to do that. That is going to get rid of any extra animations, logic that doesn't belong to our characters anymore, and it'll make everything a lot cleaner because you'll end up with a bunch of doubles, and this is just a good way to get rid of unused stuff. Okay, so we're going to have to fix a couple of things with the door because obviously it is not working, and that is just because we deleted the, uh, the old UI. So we're going to have to reselect our key counter. So select key counter there. We're also going to select key counter here open the door and we can get to the flag. Okay, so now that we got all that fixed, let's make it so when we get to the flag, we actually can win the game. So we're actually gonna go to open. We're going to go to main menu and open main menu. So the level select I did add earlier and I do have the video for it, but I didn't quite like the way it turned out. It will probably get released, but it'll be out of sync from the tutorials. But when I do add it, it will be in the proper spot. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a win menu. And the win menu is basically going to be this level select. So what we're going to do is select our level select and we're going to go file and we're going to save as. So we're going to save this instead of main menu. We're going to save this as level 
underscore select. And we're just going to save that blend file. Now you can see that we are already selected to level select, but just for safety, I'm going to go open level select and it crashed. So I'm just going to open my level select. There we go. And we're going to delete what we do not need. So we're going to go into the main menu and delete that. We're also going to go into the credits and delete that as well. But we're going to go file. We're going to go clean up and we're going to delete these recursive data blocks, 83 unused data blocks, definitely want to get rid of those. And you'll see that we're only left with what we need. So currently, if I press play, you'll see that we can still select a level. If I select level two, then we load up level two. Perfect. Now we just don't have everything else cluttering up our workspace. Now we can also go through and clean up a bunch of this main menu logic. So the first thing we want to do is this main menu button here which if we come up over to our main menu level select, we instead of setting a scene, we're going to delete that and we're going to load file. Just connect that in there. And we want to load the main menu level. So I'm just going to delete all of this stuff to clean this up a little bit since we will not need it. And I'm going to select my continue 002. So we're also going to select our button as well. So continue 002. And just do that for your continues here. Do that. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this logic. I'm going to move this over here. And I'm going to delete all of this stuff here. This is all unnecessary as well. So delete all that, make everything nice and clean. Make sure to apply your main menu logic after you've cleaned it all up and make sure to apply it to your camera. So now when we press play, you can see I can select the main menu. And I'm just going to save just in case. I'm going to select main menu and it will load up the main menu scene. And we're gonna go back to our main menu blend file. And in here, I'm gonna go file, clean up, remove recursive files. We don't need a bunch of that stuff. Go into main menu logic, and we want to go over to our main menu level select. Currently, it's set to level select here. In fact, we can actually get rid of our level select because we don't need it anymore. Go file, clean up, recursive locals. There we go, delete all that. And we want to add in another load file. If this is true, then we're going to load up our level select file. Now let's go to main menu. And if we press play and click on level select, you'll see that it now loads our level select menu. And we can go back and forth. It does crash because of course it does. <laughs> and the great thing about crashes is it never gives you a reason because why would it? So we can go to level select and we can select, oh my gosh, it is crashing every time now. Oh, it hurts my soul, dude. You know, it. the great thing about debug is when your debug crashes along with the game. I'm actually going to load up the standalone player. So let's load that up. Okay, so now we can actually see this shouldn't crash. When this crashes, it shouldn't kill our debug window. So we should be able to see what's going on. So let's go level select. Oh, it's not, op not opening, nothing. <sighs> I hate bug fixing while making tutorials. It doesn't work in the standalone player for some reason. Okay, so it was just redoing the node. Wow. Now we can load up level two. Oh, there you go, everybody. Uh, let me just go over what happened. Literally, all I had to do that entire time is I just, this load file node, I just deleted it, re-added it, and it works great. So if you're having issues, it's a good idea just to keep track, if you can, of what you add. Man, sometimes it's just tough. Ugh. So let's go over to level one. We want to make it so when we actually get to our flag here, that we can go to our menu. So let's just select the flag. We're going to add a cube and just make it about just a little bit bigger than the flag here. We're going to rename this to finish. Go to our object properties and set that to wire. We're going to go to the collision properties. You can leave it on static, just make it ghost so it doesn't collide with objects now that we have the physics property set. So now what we're going to do is make a new script and we're going to call this script finish. So now let's just add a collision and we're going to say load file, connect the when colliding. You can leave it on once. We're going to select self and make sure to apply this to selected. Now the property we want to collide with is going to be the player. And we're just going to load up the level select menu. And we load up our level select. Thanks for watching, everybody. Just remember, crashing is a feature. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the series so far. This is going to be pretty much the final episode. I will have a follow-up episode for how to do compositing. 
I'm going to do a compositing episode, and then this series will be complete. Thank you all for joining me on this incredible journey, and I will see you in the next video.